like you said, if Rutgers wants to come back, they've got to steal one of these upcoming matchups. You see Nick Ravina right there, focused, ready to go. TJ Dudley, absolute stud, ranked number four in the country for a reason. Six and one on the season. He just gets the two points. Gravina trying to fight out of this somehow. First period, he took me down, and I was deep on the shot, and he like rescored off of it. So he definitely outscored me in the first period. And they're gonna yeah. give. They're gonna give a reversal for that. I don't think he expected me to be decent on top, and I think he expected to get out right away. When you're on bottom for an entire period, like that wears on you, and I think that was really the main point in the match that like kind of shifted control. If you're Rutgers, you feel pretty good. 30 seconds of riding time with 47 seconds in the match, and Nick Gravina, an opportunity to pull a huge upset if he can keep him down. He had potential to get a reversal a couple times, almost did, and uh, I was just kind of holding on, hoping that time would go faster. <laughs> with seven seconds left, there's no change of position, and he's gonna get the upset, and he's gonna win on a riding basketball. Three to two, the upset of the number four ranked wrestler in the country. Wow, what an unbelievable upset victory. He's mentally extremely tough, so he gets in those close matches. We feel he can win a night in and night out just because he's so mentally tough. You know, we all believe that we're going to win every single match. We go into the match thinking we're going to win, and it was great to see Nick Arena do that in front of everyone. It's such a great atmosphere, and we're all proud of him. Nick Ravina's come a long way. You know, he's been a... Uh, He's had it really, really tough here. It's been difficult. He's been through some serious, serious injuries where he hasn't been able to really compete or even train because of his shoulders. And, uh, you know, he's finally back healthy. And when he's healthy, this is what he can do. Seeing what he goes through every day, it's like he's never really competing at 100%. It just shows how tough he is to continuously come back. It definitely takes a toll, and he battles through it every day. So props to him. First year was, uh, it was really bad. I expected to come in and, like, have a good redshirt year, like go to a bunch of different tournaments, and I barely stepped on the mat at all. I just kept trying to like get my shoulder back and like had a surgery on it, and just trying to recover, you know. This is my third year being his roommate, and uh, coming into college, we wrestled at the same club, but uh, believe it or not, he used to be around the same weight as me, so we would get to train together, but now he's, he's a little bigger, he's like a, he's like a big brother to me. The coaching staff is, you don't find people who want to get on the mat as much as they do. They care so much about each individual wrestler, and however much time you want to put into wrestling, that's how much time they'll give you, and then more. If Goodale wants to get with you, he'll put your hands on you. You know, same with Donnie, he'll take you away from your partner and be like, no, I'm going with you today, you need to work on certain things, and you're not going to find that other place. And right now, I'm majoring in psychology. Um, Later, I want to become a physical therapist. I've been battling with injuries. I don't want anybody to have to deal with injury and not be able to perform to their fullest ability, you know? As you start beating the best guys, you just believe in yourself. And, and it, it only takes one, and you get that first one, and it's a snowball effect. And now he, he's an extremely confident wrestler right now, which can make him extremely dangerous. There's a big ceiling for him. He could be very, very good, and, and that's what we expect. You know, we expect him to be on the podium, hopefully sooner rather than later. I don't like to think of like the one as like, a win for Nick Ravina, I think of it as a win for, like, I guess, any other underdog. I think that would probably be the best term. But the reason we all love wrestling is because anybody can win at any time, and if I can drive that message home to anybody, even one specific person, I'd be happy with that.